everybody. Welcome to Reading is Instrumental. My name is Ming Luke, and I am the director and conductor for the Berkeley Symphony's education programs. At the Berkeley Symphony, we have lots of musicians who played a wide variety of instruments and who all get together to play orchestral concerts. We might be playing music that's been written hundreds of years ago, or we might be playing music that was written just today. Now, some of you might have seen an orchestra perform live, but even if you haven't seen an orchestra perform, you've definitely heard an orchestra perform. And that's because symphony orchestras often play the music in movies, like Harry Potter, Star Wars, or hundreds and hundreds of other different movies. Orchestral music is an important part of what makes the movie exciting. Now for this session of Reading is Instrumental, we have Michael Quende, Mr. Michael, reading a book called Thank You Omu. Now music can do a lot to change how we hear a story. The words, I am going to take a walk, can change drastically depending on what music we choose to play. It could be, I am going to take a walk. It could be exciting. It could be, I am going to take a walk. It could be scary and thrilling. Now the music can greatly change how we hear a story. For this story, thank you Omu, we wanted to use the music of the great jazz pianist Duke Ellington. Now Duke Ellington's music had so many different moods and feels to it, and because there are so many different characters in this book, we thought it'd be nice that each one of them had a different piece of music. So I'd now like to introduce Michael Quende, reading Thank You, Omu. Hello friends, welcome to Reading is Instrumental. My name is Michael Quende, although I am better known by children, parents, and teachers across Berkeley as Mr. Michael. For the past seven years, I have worked as the children's librarian of the Claremont Branch Library, located in the Elmwood neighborhood. Do you know what a children's librarian does at work every day? We spend a lot of time thinking about how we are going to make sure that you and your friends have all the books you want to read or have read to you. You may have been to a public library before and enjoyed a story time led by a children's librarian or maybe one visit at your school to tell you how you can borrow books from the library. This is what children's librarians love to do share books and share stories. Now I'm going to share one of my favorite stories with you. One that I have read to hundreds of children over the past couple of years. The title is Thank You Um, and it was written and illustrated by the wonderful, talented author and illustrator, Ogi Mora. This is a story about sharing, and every time I read it, I think about my grandmother, Clarice Moore, and how generous she was to me with her time, her stories, her support, and her incredibly delicious cooking. I hope you will enjoy this lovely story as much as I do, and now it is my pleasure to share with you, Thank You, Amu, by Ogi Mora. This book was published by Little Brown and Company in 2018. And this is the story. On the corner of First Street and Long Street, on the very top floor, Amu was cooking a thick red stew in a big fat pot for a nice evening meal. She seasoned and stirred it and took a small taste. What a delicious stew, Amu said. Tonight's dinner will surely be the best I have ever had. With that, Amu put down her spoon and went to read a book before supper. As the thick red stew simmered on the stove, its scrumptious scent wafted out the window and out the door, down the hall, toward the street, and around the block until someone was at the door. When Amu opened it, she saw a little boy. Little boy, Amu exclaimed, what brings you to my home? I was playing with my race car down the hall when I smelled the most delicious smell, the little boy replied. What is it? Thick red stew. Mmm, stew, he sighed. That sure sounds yummy. Amu thought for a moment. She was saving her stew for dinner, but she had made quite a bit. It would not hurt to share. Would you like some? The little boy nodded, and so Amu spooned out some of the thick red stew from the big fat pot for her nice evening meal. 
Thank you, Amu, the little boy said, and went on his way. With that, Amu closed the door and went back to her book. And as she read, her thick red stew scrumptious scent wafted out the window and out the door, down the hall, toward the street, and around the block until someone was at the door. When Amu opened the door, this time she saw a police officer. Miss Police Officer, Amu exclaimed, what brings you to my home? I was on duty down the street when I smelled the most delicious smell, Miss Police Officer replied. What is it? Big red stew. Ah, stew, she said, and her mouth watered. That sounds mighty tasty. Amu thought for a moment. There was still enough to share. Would you like some? The police officer nodded, and once again Amu spooned out some of the thick red stew from the big fat pot for her nice evening meal. Thank you, Amu, the officer said, and went on her way. And so for the second time, Amu closed the door and went back to her book. Sure enough, as she read, her thick red stew scrumptious scent wafted out the window and out the door, down the hall, toward the street, and around the block until... Again, someone was at Amu's door. This time when she opened it, she saw... A hot dog vendor. Mr. Hot Dog Vendor, Amo exclaimed. What brings you to my home? I was selling my hot dogs down the block when I smelled the most delicious smell, Mr. Hot Dog Vendor replied. What is it? Thick red stew. Mmm, ooh, ooh, stew, the vendor licked his lips. That sounds quite delectable. So Amo um, spooned out some of the thick red stew from the big fat pot for her nice evening meal. Thank you, Amu, the hot dog vendor said, and went on his way. Throughout the day, people from all across the neighborhood knocked on Amu's door. She fed a shop owner, a cab driver, a doctor, an actor, a lawyer, a dancer, a baker, an artist, a singer, an athlete, a bus driver, a construction worker, even the mayor stopped by. And each time they knocked, Amu shared. Soon the sky darkened, the street lights brightened, and it was finally time for dinner. But when Amu opened a big fat pot of thick red stew for a nice evening meal, it was empty. Amu sniffled. There goes the best dinner I ever had. Sorry and blue, she sat at the table with her empty pot until... Who could that be? Amu wondered. When she opened her door, she saw the little boy, the police officer, hot dog vendor, shop owner, cab driver, doctor, actor, lawyer, dancer, baker, wife. Everyone she fed today was at her door. I'm sorry, everyone, almost sighed. My thick red stew is all gone and I have nothing left to share. The little boy tugged at Amu's sleeve. Don't worry, Amu. We're not here to ask. We're here to give. The police officer carried in a fresh salad. The mayor entered with a roast chicken. The baker brought a collection of sweet goodies. Even the little boy presented Amu with something special in a shiny red envelope. Everyone who had knocked on Amu's door that day squeezed inside her tiny apartment and together they ate, danced, and celebrated while Amu's big fat pot of thick red stew was in. Her heart was full of happiness and love. That dinner was the best she had ever had. Thank you, Amu. That's what it says on the card there. And that's the story. So, what did you think about the story? No matter how many times I read it, I love it as much as I did the first time. How did it make you feel? It always makes me feel happy because it reminds me of my grandmother and that's how she made me feel. Maybe Amu reminds you of someone in your life. Or maybe even more than one person in your life. If you would like to read this book on your own or you do not own a copy, the Berkeley Public Library has several copies that are available for us as a community to share. There are also thousands of other wonderful books available that you might enjoy. I have to go now. 
but it was a pleasure to be able to share with you a book that means so much to me. Thank you for watching Reading is Instrumental. Bye. Thank you, Michael, for that wonderful reading of Thank You, Omo. I hope that you all enjoyed it as much as I did. I love it at the very end where they all get together to have a meal together. Now, we hope to see you at the Berkeley Public Library where they have hundreds of books that you can enjoy and at the Berkeley Symphony where there's all different types of music that you can listen to. We hope you've enjoyed reading as instrumental. Now, as a special treat, I'd like to play for you one of my favorite Duke Ellington songs, Don't Get Around Much Anymore, that you heard before.